My next guest was part of the X Factor back in 2012, the series that gave us James Arthur and Rylan. Remember, Rylan was an X Factor. And a 16 year old Ella Henderson, who is back with new music. And Ella Henderson joins me now. Ella, it's so good to see you. How are you doing? Hello, good morning. <laughs> oh, it's um, good to I'm see good. you. I'm good, thank you. It's Glad nice to, to hear you. it. Glad to hear it. Now, look, take care of you. I think that's very appropriate for right now because we're all trying to take care of one another, but we've not to forget to take care of ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, it was definitely uh, not intentional of uh, bringing this song out at this time, and I think all of us could never have predicted a 2020 quite like this. But um, yeah, I always plan on releasing this record, but I guess this song resonates now more than ever. Um, but yeah, I know it's definitely a personal message and a song to myself, just to remind myself to take care of myself, look after myself mentally, physically and emotionally, which I think is really important. Absolutely, very wise. And I know the whole family got involved in, in doing the video, didn't they? They did, they did. Um, lockdown's been a bit of an adventure for me. I actually did the whole of lockdown um, in Lincolnshire back at my parents' house. So creating all the creative stuff and content for my um, for the EP and for this single launch. It's kind of been a full-on Henderson special filmed by my brother, my mum, my dad. We all got involved. It was quite a lot of fun then. Oh, I love that. It's wonderful. We were just saying there about the X Factor, which seems such a long time ago. You were only 16. I mean, you're still only 24, for goodness sake. And you've achieved so much so far. I mean, you've had some amazing collaborations as well as doing stuff on, on your own. Is it all you thought it would be, Ella? Do you know what? I think nothing can prepare you for this industry. And um, it's, do you know what? It's been an incredible journey and a ride for me. I think coming in so young, I have to appreciate that so much has happened in such a short space of time, especially at the early stages of my career. But absolutely, I'm so grateful to do what I love as a career and um, as my job. Um, but there's definitely, I've had my ups and downs. And uh, I think especially the last few years, it was really important for me to take a bit of time to just grow and have that transition into becoming a young woman. Uh, because the transition of being a teenager to now, um, doing that in the public eye, I think it was, um, I think it would have been quite messy for me. And um yeah, a lot happened to me from the ages of 16 to 21. And uh, my life literally changed as soon as Ghosts came out and everything went crazy, um, which was incredible. But I kind of, I guess we were never prepared for that at all. No, I don't think anything can prepare you for it. It's, it's like being in the eye of a storm. It's absolutely bonkers, isn't it, completely? And you're so right and you're so wise to take yourself out of that just for a little while, just to give, you know, you, you know some headspace more than anything else. I think you were absolutely right to do that and then come back with this new material. Yeah. No, absolutely. And um, it's funny because everyone thinks you're hiding away and you're not doing much. But I think for me, it's just been important to just live. I mean, I write off experience. Everything I write about with my music, if I hadn't have taken this time to just actually live like a normal human being, then I wouldn't have anything to write about, which is really important for me. No, that's true. And there's a lot. I mean, people are being so creative under the present circumstances. You know, we've seen that with, with music, with art, with cinema, with all of, all of these things. And you did do a reunion with the judge at the time of The X Factor, with lovely Gary Barlow. You did one of his crooner I sessions. Did. Yeah, um, no, that was a lot of fun. Gaza hit us up on uh, the DMs on um, the old Instagram. And uh, yeah, I saw he was doing a lot of videos. And when we started speaking about doing one, we was like, we have to sing Rule the World, because it's what the song I did on week one of X Factor. Um, so we sang it together. That's the first time I've ever sang together as well, which is really nice, because he's kind of been a big mentor for me from such a young age. Yeah, he's a good lad. He's a really good lad. And the collaborations that you've done, especially with Rudimental, I mean, that that really, that was such an amazing thing to do, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the transition I've had over the last two years, I would say, um, and signing into my new deal with uh, the Rudy boys has been so much fun. It's like being part of a family. And um, from the moment I met the lads, like, it's just been fun. I've had a lot of fun. And I think I'm um, just such like a, a form of positive energy has come into my life, which is exactly what I needed. It's exactly what we all need, my love, and thank you. It's great to talk to you. You can download the new single, Take Care of You. You can download it right now, and it really does resonate with absolutely everyone in these times. Thank you, my love. Great to talk to you. Thank you so much.